Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. I came across a fascinating story in Physics Today titled Albert Einstein and the High School Geometry Problem. The article is worth reading in its entirety, and I've provided a link in the video description. In the rest of the video, I'm going to summarize some of the main points of this story and focus on the geometry problem itself. The year was 1952 and a 14-year-old student, Johanna Mankiewicz, was struggling with a geometry problem. This is a bit of a Hollywood story, because Johanna's father was Herman Mankiewicz, who co-wrote the screenplay for Citizen Kane, and her uncle was Joseph Mankiewicz, the famous producer and Hollywood director. Johanna decided she didn't know the answer, so who could she write to for help? She thought about a 73-year-old Albert Einstein. She wrote a letter with the problem and she asked, I realize that you're a very busy man, but you are the only person we know of who could supply us with the answer. Unknown to Johanna is that Albert Einstein would occasionally write back to students who he felt were sincere. So he wrote back to Johanna. He didn't solve the problem exactly, but he did provide some hints and a general method for solving these kinds of problems. So what was the problem? It actually was something of a standard textbook question. What is the length of the common external tangent to two tangent circles of radii 8 inches and 2 inches? Interestingly, the story got into the media and at least 82 newspapers covered this story. One might say that this math problem went viral. So, what is the answer to this question? Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. Before I solve the problem, I want to review a famous principle. If two circles A and B are tangent at a tangent point T, their centers and the tangent point are collinear. The reason is that AT will be perpendicular to the tangent line and BT will also be perpendicular to the tangent line through T. Therefore, ATB will be a straight line segment. This is true for both externally and internally tangent circles. So now let's solve the problem. First, we'll construct a line. Then we'll take a circle and make it just tangent to this line. Suppose this circle has a radius that has a length equal to a, and we'll construct a radius that's exactly perpendicular to this tangent line. Now let's construct another circle along this line that's tangent to it and make it just tangent to this larger circle. Again, we'll construct this radius and suppose that this radius has a length equal to b. We want to solve for the length of the common external tangent. That's the line segment that's highlighted. So how do we do that? First, we will construct a line segment between the two centers of the circles. This will go through the tangent point. So these lengths will be equal to a and b, and together they will be equal to a plus b. Now, let's construct the following horizontal line. Then, this segment will also have a length that's equal to b, and the remaining length will be equal to a minus b, because the entire radius is equal to a. From here, we can focus on this right triangle, and this horizontal leg is exactly the length of the common external tangent. So we just need to solve for the length of this leg. Because we have a right triangle, we have x squared plus the quantity a minus b squared is equal to the quantity a plus b squared. From here, we just solve for x. We'll subtract the quantity a minus b squared from both sides. Then we'll expand each binomial. The a squared terms will cancel and the b squared terms will cancel. Then we have 2ab plus 2ab, so that'll be equal to 4ab. We take the square root of both sides. Now we want x to be a non-negative value because it's a length, 
so we just take the non-negative square root. Then the square root of 4ab is equal to 2 times the square root of ab. So that is the length of this leg. We go back to our original diagram, and that's exactly the length of the common external tangent. To solve the problem, we just recall that one circle had a radius that was equal to 8 inches, and the other circle had a radius that was equal to 2 inches. So we just need to calculate 2 times the square root of 8 times 2. 8 times 2 is equal to 16. Then the square root of 16 is equal to 4. 2 times 4 is equal to 8. And thus, the length of the common external tangent is equal to 8 inches. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.